Hey, how's it going? So in the 1960s or 70s or some point at that, at that time, mm -hmm. there was an experiment carried out, like a social, um, social psychology experiment. It was called the Ash Conformity Experiment. Ash, A-S-C-H. The Ash Conformity Experiment. And it was very simple. They bring in this room full of people, of students, right? And they'd uh, show up on, on the board, you know, like projected or something. You know, three lines, A, B, and C. They were just lines, right? And, you know, they were of different lengths. And B was clearly the longest line. And so the, the people there who were brought in, they were asked, you know, of, of lines A, B, and C, which is the longest line? And see, this one guy said line B. But all the other people in the room said, no, it's line C. And, and you'd look at it, and line C was noticeably shorter than line B. But the one guy, he'd be like, no, it's line B is the longest. And the others, they'd ask around the room, and all of the others said, no, it's clear that A is the shortest, then B is a little bit longer, and C is the longest. And see, eventually that one guy who kept insisting that line B was the longest, well, eventually you'd, you'd say, well, yeah, I guess line C is the longest. And of course, the experiment... Uh, was not that all of these kids, these college kids, had been brought in to see which line was bigger. No, no, no. See, it was that one dissident, the guy who kept saying that line B was the longest until he finally acquiesced. He was the subject of the experiment because all the other people in the room were in on the experiment. And they had been told to insist that line C was the longest one, even though self-evidently line B was the longest one the Ash Conformity Experiment. So a few days ago, like this um, NBC, you know, uh, uh, which is a big uh, news organization out in the United States, NBC put out a video with a nurse that I've discussed before, but I'm not gonna be able to mention her name throughout the rest of this video or into the future for reasons I will explain in this video. Well. They brought out somebody who was alleged to be this nurse who took a certain meditation back in December 2020, and then she subsequently passed out on TV, live TV as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. and she was never heard from again. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, they bring her out and they say, this is her. <laughs> the second I saw that video, I said, that's not her. I'm sorry, you know, and it wasn't even like the look of her. It was her voice. Oh. Her voice was harder and her accent was not the same. I mean, it was actually rather different. I, I, could, I could tell just listening to her for just a few seconds and then watching the entire NBC piece that talked about the fact that this nurse who had seemingly disappeared after this incident that happened in December 2020, that there were conspiracy theorists, guys like me, <laughs> conspiracy theorists who were insisting that she had died and that her death had been covered up. And they were bringing her out 28 months later to show the world that she's alive and well. And, and you know, and she has a podcast now. It's a lie just like in the Ash Conformity Test. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. The reasons that they brought her out are, are pretty obvious, okay? See, um, NBC is a mainstream legacy media. And so what will happen is that, see, uh, whenever there is a Google search for the name of this uh, nurse, this will be the first thing to appear and it will automatically discredit anybody such as myself and such as a lot of other people who are wondering where she is. Uh, and of course, the 
NBC piece will be used to suppress anybody who even mentions her name. That's why I'm not mentioning her name. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, by using the legacy media to create a false story, this false story automatically becomes the first story, the priority story, insofar as uh, Google and other search engines are concerned. And it will be used as justification to suppress and remove anyone who says different, who says that, you know, whatever happened to her, mm -hmm. or who questions the narrative. Uh, you see how it works? Mm -hmm. And you say, oh, Gonzalo, man, you and your fucking conspiracies, man. It, it, it is as it is. She just went away for a while and came back. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. She used to have an active presence on Instagram before her disappearance. She had no activity for 28 months, and now she claims that she didn't have any activity because the hospital that employed her didn't want her to cause to, to appear in public and cause a big scandal. I mean, how exactly would that be a big scandal? You know, she passed out, and then maybe a month or so later she appears and she's like perfectly fine. And how would that be a scandal? Hmm? That doesn't that explanation doesn't make any sense now, does it? But she was completely silent. Her family went underground, and a lot of people, myself included, believed that her family was paid off with a hefty check and an ironclad NDA by pharmaceutical companies, of course. And so that's why they've kept quiet. And all of a sudden she appears, and she doesn't look the same. She just doesn't. And, and it's, it's we really weird because, you see, there are certain elements of her that look the, the, the one, the version, let's call her 2.0. The 2.0 looks like 1.0 in certain things, but in other things, it's like, no, it's a different person. And I'm not talking about hair coloring. Women color their hair all the time. That's not the issue, even though there's that. But there were other just little things, you know, the, her eyes and, and all the rest of it. But for me, it was the voice, the voice and the accent. Uh, I mean, I can't claim to have a really great ear for music or anything, but I can spot accents pretty well. I might not be able to identify exactly where they're from, but I can tell two people uh, if, you know, if, if their accent is one way in certain videos and then later it's radically different. I'm like, what's going on? Either this person is putting on a voice or it's not the same voice. And the tone of the voice of 2.0 is darker. It's not the same voice. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you think that I'm just, you know, off my rocker again, let me ask you another whopper of a story that came up recently. Remember the Nord Stream bombing back in September? And then Seymour Hirsch in January, I believe. I think it was January. I could be wrong, but he came out with a story saying that the Americans did it. The Americans blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. Mm -hmm. And then exactly a month later, the New York Times, um, the Financial Times, and Die Zeit all came up at the same time with these long stories saying that, no, it had actually been these uh, Ukrainian, but not really Ukrainian, like of the government Ukrainians, but some other Ukrainian, some offshoot that had rented out a pleasure yacht, and six of them, five men and a woman, had, you know, dived down to the pipeline and blown it up. Which, when I heard that, I was just laughing my ass off. I heard it live when I was on the Duran. You can check out the video there if it's a live stream. It was sort of like at the end of the live stream that this came out because it was like breaking news as we were doing the broadcast. And I listened to this bullshit. I just laughed my ass off. I was with Brian Verletic and Alexander Mercurius and Alex Christoforu. And we all just laughed our asses off because it was so obviously a lie, a huge whopper of a lie. I mean, so divorced from reality that you're like, come on, man. Okay? I mean, it was such a huge lie that even the, the mainstream media had to start trying to, like, poke holes into it because it was just so absurd. Come on. Mm -hmm. But see, that's an example of them using the legacy media to promote a whopper of a lie and see if people believe it. Now, that one was too divorced from reality. There were too many obvious facts 
that would lead people, sensible people, normal people, people without any interest in the, in the affair, to say, no, 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 come on, you know, don't bullshit a bullshitter, you know what I mean? So this issue with this nurse, this has happened before, in the recent past, I mean, just now, okay? And we all know that governments, pharmaceutical companies, mainstream media, the military industrial complex, they're all working hand in glove. They are the enemy. The Western governments no longer exist as democratic governments. They are the Western regime. A Western regime that seeks to lie to the people and tell them things about reality that are quite obviously not true in order to convince you to conform. I mean, why do you think that there are all these uh, 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 people, you know, who are supporting this cause or the other cause? The Ash Conformity Experiment. Because they know they're lying. And they figure that they can lie enough that they'll convince quite a number of people. Mm -hmm. And like in the experiment, like I said, you know, there would be that one guy who would say, who was the subject, of course, of the experiment, would say, no, line B is the longest, not line C. Line C is shorter than line B. I can see it. But of course, the social pressure eventually led him to cave. And that's the point of this. It's, it's to get you to comply with obvious lies. Mm -hmm. Now, insofar as the nurse situation is concerned, I'll be quite frank. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pursue this shit. Because I know what happened. Well, this poor woman died. She died of consequences of the medication. And, you know, that's why she vanished for 28 months from, uh, from social media. And now she's coming back, and they're going to try to push this version 2.0 as the real nurse. And what they will do is have her on for a while, for two, three, four months, relentlessly doing her podcasts and taking pictures and putting them up on her social media. And notice it. They've started to remove the old pictures of her from social media. Mm -hmm. Because they have. They're going to start to slowly squeeze out version 1.0 and just present version 2.0 as the real nurse mm? until eventually the truth will be forgotten. That, that's the aim. And people like myself, people perhaps like you, who also looked at this new video and said, oh, this isn't the same person, you know, will be marginalized. And that's the point. See? See, because the guy who says, no, line B is longer, he's going to say that every time. He's going to say, line B is longer. He's going to say, nurse 2.0 is not the real nurse. He's going to say, no, it wasn't like some half dozen randos who went diving on a pleasure yacht and blew up this incredibly complex and big and, and expensive pipeline. We are the ones who are always going to say, no, all of you people all around me who are saying that line C is the longest, no, we're always going to say that line B is the biggest. We're always going to be that guy. And so this is an effort to marginalize us, to marginalize people who are pointing at the truth and saying, hey, that's the truth. Line B is the longest, not line C, not your lie. We're going to see a lot more of this shit across the board, okay? And especially with more AI photographs and, more importantly, more AI videos, deep fake videos that are going to be harder and harder to distinguish from reality. They're going to go whole hog on this and create an entirely false reality. Because so far, what they've been doing insofar as suppressing reality is just ignoring it. Like, for instance, no mainstream Western news outlets are talking about the massive protests going on in France, the massive protests going on in the Netherlands over different government actions that are taking place. They're not denying them. They're just ignoring them. But, of course, some things will pop up, like this issue with the nurse, like this issue with the Nord Stream bombing, that are just too big to ignore. And they're going to have to come up with lies 
And sometimes those lies will fail, like, you know, the people on the, what was the uh, yacht called? The Andromeda yacht. It was a sailing yacht. A pleasure sailing yacht that would blew up a pipeline. And not the Americans who are carrying out, you know, war games right there, you know, in the, in the months previous, who put the bombs there with very sophisticated diving equipment and then later set it off by remote control. Uh, no, they're, they're going to just, you know, ignore that. Mm -hmm and try to start feeding you lies. And so the information space that we're going into is just gonna be a fucking nightmare. Mm -hmm. More and more lies. And pretty soon it's going to be almost impossible to tell the difference between the truth and the lies. The lies that the regime is promulgating. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm just telling you what I think about the whole um, nurse situation and about all these lies. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you will join me in always saying line B is the longest. Understand what's going on.